T minus one minute. Engine start box go. Rock report range status. Range green. Fifty seconds. Forty five. Everything is go. GE main power off. Main power off. Forty. Upper stage LH two secure at flight level. Thirty five. Thirty. Status check. Go Delta. Go Orion. Green board. Twenty five. Flight lock in. T minus twenty seconds. Fifteen. Rofi ignition. Ten. The igniters have been lit. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. Good engine control on the first stage. Passing 25 seconds. Velocity 1,341 feet per second. Passing 31 seconds, still looking good. Good engine control. Good chamber pressure in all three boosters in the full power mode. 40 seconds in. Standing by to go to the partial thrust mode in the core. And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to drop as expected as we're coming up on the one minute mark. Mark, one minute into the flight. Still looking good. Good chamber pressure in the core booster in the partial thrust mode. Good chamber pressure in port and starboard in full power mode. One minute, 15 seconds into the flight. We have the hydrazine supply valve open in the second stage. One minute, 22 seconds in. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Passing 124, Mach 1. Orion and Delta IV now transcending the speed of sound. One minute, 31 seconds in. Good engine control on the first stage. Coming up one minute, 40 seconds. Velocity now 1,341 feet per second. One minute, 50 seconds in. Still looking good. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes into the flight. Good engine control on the first stage. Port and starboard boosters still at good uh, chamber pressures in the full power mode and the good core chamber pressure in the partial thrust mode at two minutes, 22 seconds in. Two minutes, 35 seconds in, still looking good. Coming up on the two minute, 43 second mark. Mark, two minutes, 43 seconds. The Delta IV of Heavy Valkyrie now just weighs one half as much as it did at launch, burning propellant at the rate of 4,744 pounds per second. Three minutes, one second into the flight, still looking good. Passing Mach 5. Three minutes, 16 seconds in. Good engine control. Less than one half minute remains on three booster flight. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. We're standing by for the... Uh, Command to go to the partial thrust mode in the port and starboard booster. That command should occur about 10 seconds from now. And we've had partial thrust command. Port and starboard should be toggling down to the partial thrust mode. 
standing by for main engine cutoff. We have cutoff in the port and starboard and separation. A good separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster now powering up to the full power mode. Four minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Good chamber pressure in the port. Uh, correction, good uh, chamber pressure in the core booster at four minutes, 18 seconds in. Four minutes, 25 seconds in, still looking good. Good engine control in the core. About one minute remaining on first stage flight. Four minutes, 46 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure holding very well in a core booster as we're approaching the five minute mark. Five minutes into the flight, standing by to go to the partial thrust command, that partial thrust command about 15 seconds from now. Good engine control. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to go down, as expected, standing by for Miko. We have Miko, the main engine has cut off, standing by for stage separation. We have stage separation. Heads is deploying, the nozzle has been extending, standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark and we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressures beginning to rise. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're taking over commentary at this point as we come up on the first two critical Orion program milestones, the service module fairing panel jettison and the launch abort system jettison, standing by for those first two critical events. The uh, service Panel uh, jettison uh, has occurred. The three 13 by 14 foot panels have separated. And we have launch abort system jettison. The 361 pound solid propellant motor has pulled the launch abort system free from the uh, upper stage and uh, from Orion. Everything going extremely well. The first two critical uh, milestones have been accomplished and we are now processing uh, telemetry from the Orion spacecraft through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the mission, Orion and the Delta IV upper stage now 127 miles in altitude some 700 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Reports here in Mission Control indicate that Orion's uh, guidance uh, Systems are up and running in good shape. This view once again of the uh, service module fairing panel jettison that occurred uh, just about a minute and a half ago. We are now coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, 142 statute miles in altitude, almost 900 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. GPS systems on Orion uh, have uh, come into full agreement uh, with navigation systems on the spacecraft. Orion is functioning perfectly at this point. Orion heading uh, almost due east from the Kennedy Space Center in an orbit inclined uh, just about 28.4 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, the upper stage is currently traveling and carrying Orion to its preliminary orbit. Now traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles an hour, its altitude flattening out. 
The uh, upper stage ignition uh, will continue for about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it began with uh, SECO 1 or a second stage cutoff number 1 just about eight and a half minutes from now. And this is our first view from uh, cameras on uh, the Orion spacecraft streaming video that, are, that is coming down, being processed through the tracking and data relay satellite system, showing a view of the Earth as Orion is being carried to its preliminary orbit, all of its systems operating in excellent condition on this uh, first test flight of America's newest spacecraft. We are also processing uh, telemetry through the Antigua tracking station in the Lesser Antilles, southeast of Puerto Rico. Coming up on the 10-minute mark into the flight, Orion is traveling uh, almost 15,000 miles an hour, nearing its orbital insertion velocity. Ten and a half minutes into the flight, everything ex going extremely well. This view from uh, one of the cameras in the Orion spacecraft looking at the limb of the Earth as it heads toward its preliminary orbit, sailing over the uh, South Atlantic right now. Currently uh, 155 statute miles above the Earth. The upper stage of the uh, Delta IV rocket, uh, once it cuts off uh, on this first of two such burns for the upper stage in about uh, six minutes and 45 seconds, will uh, have left uh, uh, Orion in an orbit uh, for its first lap of the Earth of about 560 by 120 statute miles. So far, all of the guidance and navigation systems on Orion operating perfectly as it rides at the top of the uh, upper stage of the Delta IV rocket uh, that uh, began its maiden journey at 6.05 a.m. Central Time, 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time, just uh, right at the peak of sunrise over the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Coming up on the 12-minute mark into the flight, Orion now passing 15,000 miles an hour, almost 1,800 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station.